SAY AN OVERDOSE DEATH ENDED WITH A COVER-UP. NOW DEREK Rourke IS CHARGED WITH UNLAWFULLY MOVING A BODY AFTER TURNING HIMSELF IN TODAY. INVESTIGATORS SAY THAT HE'S THE MAN WHO PUT A DEAD BODY IN A BOX AND THEN DUMPED IT IN THE WOODS ALONG SOUTH PARK ROAD EARLIER THIS MONTH. WLKY'S MORGAN LENTIS SPOKE WITH THE DETECTIVE WORKING THIS CASE. SHE'S LIVE AT THE METRO POLICE HEADQUARTERS TONIGHT WITH A POSSIBLE MOTIVE. MORGAN? Rick, investigators believe Rourke was worried about missing out on some lucrative business deals, and that's why he decided to hide the victim's body instead of calling 911. He could have easily called 911 like everyone else, but he chose not to. Homicide detective Jason Vance says the victim in this case, Jeffrey Kingdon, struggled with drugs for years, and on October 10th, while staying with a friend in Louisville, he overdosed. Derek Rourke initially performed CPR, but according to a witness who was there at the time, he eventually changed his mind about getting help. She was not allowed to contact 911. The uh, Mr. Rourke did not let her contact 911. For what reason, you know, we don't know. Investigators say that's when Rourke decided to cover up Kingdon's death. He put his body in a large wooden box and dumped it in the woods. Just three days later, ATV riders discovered the remains, leaving many neighbors in shock. I'm afraid to come outside my own house by myself at night after seeing that. You know what I mean? It's kind of horrible. Because you don't know who's hiding in the woods back there. Detective Vance believes Rourke was worried about jeopardizing some lucrative business contracts if word of the overdose death got out. That's why Kingdon, who we're told worked with Rourke remodeling apartments, had to disappear. But it's the manner in which he was disposed of that still has officers in disbelief. Well, it's unusual in the fact that he was in a box. I mean, I'm going to be just, I'll be blunt. Rourke is uh, charged with tampering with physical evidence and abuse of a corpse, but detectives tell me they don't believe this is a homicide case. They say that the victim died of an overdose. Reporting live at Metro Police Headquarters, I'm Morgan Lentis, WLKY News. Thank you, Morgan.